Hey there friends, welcome to another session of story time. Just taking a moment from the reality of the world and enjoying a moment of laughter and delight as we look at books and children's books and enjoy those together. Um, today I am on location just out and about. Tim and I just took some time to get out of town today and um, so while we were out uh, we did the recording. So got some pretty nature all around us. It's very lovely right here. Um, okay. So, I have two books for us today. We have Pirate Mom, which is a fun, like a, a step into reading book um, by Deborah Underwood, which is it's just a fun little book. And then um, this book by Sam McBratney, Guess How Much I Love You. So those are the two books for story time today. We're gonna start with Pirate Mom because one should start with pirates. Okay, Pirate Mom by Deborah Underwood, illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. The Hypno Trance. Arr, said Pete. He swished his pirate sword. He jumped on his pirate bed. Come downstairs, Pirate Pete, called his mom. Pete told Teddy to guard the loot. Pete ran downstairs. Will you play pirates with me? He asked. Pete's mom said no. Pete's mom never wanted to play pirates. She did not like pirates. She said pirates were not polite, but she had a nice surprise. Wow, said, P said Pete. Tickets to see an amazing Marco today? Pete and his mom went to the show. The lights dimmed, the crowd got quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Marco, boomed a voice from behind them. The amazing Marco pulled a rabbit out of his hat. Ooh, said the crowd. The amazing Marco cut Zelda, his helper, in half. Ah, said the crowd. It was time for Marco's most amazing trick, the Hypno Trance. The amazing Marco picked Pete's mom. He told her she was getting sleepy. Pete's mom closed her eyes. What should she be when she wakes up? Marco asked the crowd. A pirate, Pete called. The amazing Marco turned to Pete's mom's. Turned to Pete's mom. When I clap my hands, you will be a pirate, he said. And he clapped his hands. Pete's mom opened her eyes. Yarr, she said. I'm a salty old pirate. Give me your loot. Everyone cheered. Suddenly, Zelda ran on stage. Your wife is having the baby, Zelda told the amazing Marco. Yikes, cried Marco. The show is over, folks, and he ran off the stage. Wait, Pete called. My mom is still a pirate. Oh, that wears off most of the time, said Zelda. Most of the time, cried Pete, but Zelda was gone. See Pete's mom trying to climb the, the curtain or whatever. <laughs> pirate problems. Pete and Pirate Mom walked home. It was not easy. Pirate Mom tried to fight Miss Reed. She called Mr. Collins a bilge rat, and she stole underwear from Mrs. Burt's clothesline. Pete was glad to get Pirate Mom inside. Pirate Mom fell asleep on the couch. Pete hoped the pirate spell would wear off, and he went out to play. An hour later, he came home. Yikes, he cried. The pirate flag flew over his house. Pirate mom stood in the yard. She wore an eye patch and a pirate headscarf. Pete's parrot sat on her shoulder. Pirate mom swished a wooden spoon at the mailman. Er, said pirate mom. Er, said the parrot. Arg, said Pete. Pete dragged Pirate Mom inside. Now Pete was really worried. His mom had a job. 
She couldn't go to work with an eye patch and a pirate scarf. She couldn't go to work with a parrot on her shoulder. We need to find the amazing Marco, said Pete. Ding dong, the doorbell rang. Pete told Pirate Mom to wait in the kitchen. Just scurvy, lad, I will not, said Pirate Mom. Ding dong, ding dong. Pete thought fast. There's loot in the kitchen. Shiver me timbers, why didn't you say so? And Pirate Mom ran out of the room. Pete peeked out the door. A bunch of people pushed past him and they had come for the PTA meeting. There was a crash in the kitchen. What was that? asked a man. Pirate Mom burst through the door. She waved a frying pan in the air. Yo ho ho, she said, give me your loot. Oh my, said the people. Pete thought fast again. M Mom thinks you should have a costume party, Pete said. It's a good way to raise money for the school. What a wonderful idea, said one of them. All in favor, aye, aye, said the people. Aye, said the parrot. I are, um, uh, yar, said Pirate Mom. <laughs> Marco's surprise. Pete had to find the amazing Marco. Marco's wife had just had a baby, so Pete took Pirate Mom to the hospital. He asked a nurse where the amazing Marco was. No pirates, said the nurse. Wait here, Pete told Pirate Mom. The amazing Marco was with his new son, the fabulous Harold. Come quick, Pete said. My mom is still a pirate. They went to find Pirate Mom and the nurse was hiding under his desk. Pirate Mom was gone. Pete and Marco heard a voice down the hall. Hand over the loot. Pirate Mom was talking to two men. Draw your swords, you yellow-bellied bandits, said Pirate Mom. We're not bandits, we're doctors, they said. Pete turned to the amazing Marco. I like pirates, Pete said, but it's hard having a pirate for a mom. Oh dear, said Marco. I'm very sorry. Marco snuck up on Pirate Mom. He told her that she was getting sleepy. He told her it was time to be Pete's mom again, and he clapped his hands. She woke up. Where are we? What happened? asked Pete's mom. Marco turned you into a pirate, said Pete. Don't be silly, said Pete's mom. She bumped into a wheelchair. Maybe you should take off your eye patch, Pete said. Pete's mom put her hand on her face and she felt the eye patch. Oh my, she whispered. <laughs> she didn't realize she'd been acting like a pirate <laughs> and wearing people's underwear on her head as a, as a scarf. The next day, Pete found a letter under the door. It was from the amazing Marco. His mom read the letter. Sorry for all the trouble. Please accept this gift. And two bits of paper fell out. Little bits of paper. They were tickets for the amazing Marco's next show. Oh no, said Pete's mom. Oh no, said Pete. Yar, said the parrot. The end. <laughs> Very good. Once again, Pirate Mom by Deborah Underwood. Okay, now this is another good uh, fan favorite, um, Guess How Much I Love You by Sam McBratney, illustrated by Anita Jerome. Great classic, uh, just a super sweet little book about um, how we show love or how we can try to measure our love. Guess How Much I Love You. Little nut brown hair was going to bed, held on tight, 
who was, excuse me, let me start that again. Little nut brown hair who was going to bed had held on tight to big nut brown hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. No, oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. This much, said little nut brown hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Big nut brown hair had even longer arms, but I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought little nut brown hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said big nut brown hair. That is very high, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then little nut brown hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said big nut brown hair, swinging him up over his head. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed little nut brown hair, bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled big nut brown hair, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's good hopping, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried little nut brown hair. I love you across the river and over the hills, said big nut brown hair. Very far, thought little nut brown hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out into the big dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and he closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said big nut brown hair. That is very, very far. Big nut brown hair settled little nut brown hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. See nestling him down. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, and I love you right up to the moon and back. The end. Yeah, that's sweet, that's just sweet. I don't know, it makes me tear up a little bit. <laughs> it's just sweet, the love we have for one another and how big our love is and um, what a precious way to show it. And I love the illustration in this book too. It's just really, um, I don't know, it, that, can illustration be sweet and endearing? Maybe, but it is, it is for me. So that's all we have for today. Uh, just two really precious books, Pirate Mom and how, Guess How Much I Love You.
So I hope you guys take some time just to read and enjoy um, the delight and joy that there is in reading and, and sharing stories with one another. And I hope you have a splendid weekend filled with joy and rest. All right, we'll see you guys back on Monday. Have a great weekend and we'll catch you next time.